Alright, hello Riven mains and Yasuo mains alike. I am the Nightwing from Way of Life Esports coming at you guys with another League of Legends video. So, there has been a handful of news popping around the League community as of right now. Yes, I am working on my Worlds videos. They will be up this week before Worlds actually comes out. I know you guys have your uh, questions for me and I'm going to do my best to answer them in those specific videos. Actually... Today, I'm going to be mostly trying to grind out the content to actually get out on the channel. So, I'll be working on recording those videos accordingly uh, today. I got off a little bit more earlier than I was expecting to. So, it, it gave me a little bit more free time to actually uh, get those videos done. But today, there was some surprising news that came up between yesterday, the day before that, and the day before that. And usually with league news, when one thing pops up, then something else usually pops up. So, that's why I kind of, you know, waited to give you guys this news, even though most you guys have already heard it it's a very good chance you haven't heard it most people that i you know do these videos for haven't even heard of this news so it's, it's a good thing i get to obviously uh you know interact with you guys when i get to uh that point in time so let me know what you guys think about all of this you know surprising news actually and yes worlds is gonna be happening this week we have the play-in stage going on uh it's gonna be lit uh it's gonna be around october 7th is, is when world starts so can't wait to do my top players for worlds and the teams uh, you guys want me to talk about the uh group draw initial obviously uh have just a, a general talk about that i actually will it, it, it will actually be a thing and the league it to me podcast is actually returning um there was some stuff i had to sort out with it but it is going to be returning i know some people have actually asked me about that don't worry it is going to be returning and the topic that i was going to use actually for the league it to me podcast was the group draw uh you know initial thoughts and you know reactions and all that crazy stuff so just be on the lookout for all of a lot of great content to come so Let's go. Pawn retires from professional league. The 22-year-old says he's been suffering from obsessive compulsive disorder, OCD, for, guys, for the people that do not know what that is. King's own Dragon X's mid laner, Pawn, revealed that he will be retiring from professional League of Legends scene due to mental health issues. The 22-year-old had recently taken the 2019 summer split off to work on his mental health after his condition worsened during last year's offseason. King's own had said that the coaching staff would work with Pond throughout the season with counseling and training, especially with the team's mental coach. And Ashley Khan broke the news today. Uh, you guys can read the entire the entire translated statement. Uh, basically, I actually did read it. It's a really, really interesting piece, and I actually really do feel bad for the guy because all of these mental health issues, when it comes to people... It's really hard to say what really is the problem to cause any of that in someone's life Maybe it was a traumatic event in his life that caused him to have this because you know I'm pretty sure not born with this per se. I, I don't know specifically, but uh, He had said he he basically can't function without stuff the way he likes it and he has well this OCD disorder and it's weird because I had went through a some some sort of you know uh, mental health issue myself uh, quite a few years ago and only just recently got over it this past year actually if you're being if i'm being completely honest the issue is that even when you tell people they are weirded out when you tell them then they don't really have good answers per se and then if you you feel like you can't talk to anybody and then if you feel like you go to a counselor you feel like you can't really talk to a stranger so i can understand why people have an issue probably dealing with this and i wholeheartedly understand where he's coming from but you know to be honest, guys, he he's won MSI. He's gotten top eight at World, you know, sometimes. Uh, he won a World Championship. He won a bunch of LPL titles with Deft. And also, Deft is going to be without Pawn for the first time next year. As we know, Deft will get a team because Deft is obviously incredible. Uh, so that's kind of sad. You know, Pawn and Deft were really, really good friends. They always wanted to play with each other. Deft thought so highly of him, and I could see why. You know, in the last few years, you saw that his back issues and that his 
uh, issues that he had talked about, you know, recently, even before this coming out, really, really did start to affect him. And I think that overall, we can look at this and go, how do you fix people that have mental health issues? Now, each issue is going to stem a lot differently than every uh, every other person's issue. But I would say that if a friend comes up to you and obviously has, and will they are willing to even open up to you about that don't be all weirded out and give them like basic general pr answers like go go see a counselor or what's wrong with you it's like no that's not the right way to deal with those things it's like you know tell people that will understand and that's all i can say personally but everybody's road is different you know according to life according to translations by horizons ashley kong pawn said that he suffers from ob- obsessive compulsive disorder and that he could not play league if his setup was not exactly the way he needed it to be. He was diagnosed with OCD back in 2018 and considered retirement then as well. Pawn was able to find a setup that was good enough right before Worlds 2018, but he had said that he did he didn't expect the compulsive uh, disorder would hit him again in a different way so suddenly. And uh, let's hold on, I gotta pick a time for my computer to reset, but right now I'm not going to do that. Ah, so. This season, Kings was forced to substitute uh, Nahun, and the team visibly struggled without their starting mid laner. They finished the summer in 7th place with a 9-9 record, and also lost in the 2019 Regional Gauntlet against Damwon. So, yeah, I mean, I love you, Pawn. Uh, it's, it's, it was a pleasure having you in the scene. I hope you get better. I hope you overcome your mental issues. I wholeheartedly understand my Korean brother. Also, you won a world championship, and this is the most factual thing I will ever say to this day. Bjergsen will trade all of his titles in for for something that you have, Pawn, and you have a world's title. So you should be, you, so you should be glad about that. And then you should be glad you were able to transition from worlds that year and win multiple LPL titles. And, uh, you know, people should be proud of your career and not look down on it. And that's something that you can go home. Well, later on, when you think about, about this, you can, you know... Realize you retired league with your head held up high and you won the highest achievement that a lot of players still to this day and will never ever get possibly in their career, which is winning world. Every single split TSM, Cloud9, TL, CLG, Fnatic, G2, you know, will all, 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 all trade all that for a world's title. And you got that, bro. So I hope you get better, man. And GG to you, Pawn. GG. Also, to kind of lighten up the mood, we have something interesting, and Rick Fox is reportedly being ousted from Echo Fox. So everybody knows about the whole Rick Fox fiasco with Echo Fox. Uh, there was a lot of you know podcasts where he talked about various issues involving money in terms of when he got the company back uh, of how just a bad state it was in. Uh, X, uh, re- sorry. Echo Fox co-founder and three-time NBA champion Rick Fox is being removed from the team after more than 80% of his partners said that he did not act within the best interest of the business. Hmm. According to a report from Jacob Wolf, Fox had repeatedly worked against the various partners and the company interests and even said that he would burn this company to the ground. He also allegedly tried to poach Echo Fox's president, Jared Jeffries, general manager, Jake Fai, and head public of relations Haley Hay in order to create his own company. Uh, and here's the ESPN tweet. Echo Fox and co-founder Rick Fox will be ousted from the company on October 21st, according to the letter obtained by ESPN because of his handling on the sale of Echo Fox's LCS slot and financial matters. Shareholders also claim that Echo... Uh, sorry. Sorry. Shareholders also claim that Fox fired several Echo Fox employees on Friday, October August 16th, which ended up negatively impacting the operation, the organization's operations. Fox even declined a 30.5 million offer from Evil Geniuses against the counsel of his shareholders and investment bank. This past April, news broke out. Uh, Amit Razada, one of the team, team's investors, used race, racist language toward former owner, former Echo Fox CEO Jace Hall, and he had threatened Echo, uh, you know, Fox's family. You know, obviously, Riot went went through the whole thing where they were trying to sell their slot, and right here it says Fox declined a thirty million dollar offer from Evil Genius. Says, yeah, because I'll get into that in, in just a moment. All right, so yeah, let's see where this is all going to lead, lead up to. So Echo Fox's partners wanted to sell to a team to oh, obviously. 
Evil Geniuses, while Fox wanted to sell to Mosaic Media Investment Partners as a compromise, both parties agreed to let Riot auction off the spot where Evil Geniuses bid and was accepted to the final LCS slot, which, okay, one thing I will say to you guys is that League of Legends, you guys, do you guys know how every single year they have that little icon where you, where you can go and support your team? Go and support your team, guys. This means a lot to the esports team. It's basically you, you, you get a world icon and you get the emote to flash your team. I I'll obviously got, I, well, I always get the Cloud9 ones. I didn't get the G2 ones because I was kind of, you know, not willing to accept that. I, I was their fan for a while, even though I really, really always liked them since 2016 when they came into the EU LCS. Uh, yeah, Kickus. Oh, God, top lane. Holy crap. Yeah, go support your team, guys. This means a lot to them. And if you're really a fan, it doesn't matter if they win worlds or not. You probably know they won't. Obviously, it's probably going to be G2. Or Cloud9, obviously. Come on, guys. Let's be honest here. Or SKT. Or RNG. But who cares? Go support your team. I don't want to hear about, oh, yeah, I'm a big fan of theirs. Go support your team. This year, surprisingly, to flash the emo and the I uh, We'll just flash the emo. 600 RP. This is the cheapest these icons and bundles have been. Last year, to be a gold supporter, it was like almost like $10 or 15 bucks. This year, it's $5. Go support your team. Please, please. I hate people say, oh, I support my team. But yet they have like no jerseys, no t-shirts, you know, they don't watch any games. Get the out of here with that. You don't support your team. Get out of here with that. You watch their games, but do you really support them? Go support them. It helps out a lot. Every little bit helps. Riot selects Evil Geniuses to replace Echo Fox is LCS next year. So Evil Geniuses, Immortals, and uh Dignitas are coming back. All the old in a somewhat gods are coming back. Uh, and this was their, uh, you know, logo coming back. Evil Geniuses has had a pretty busy week so far, acquiring NRG's Counter-Strike team that's now playing at ESO1 New York. But now Evil Geniuses also have been chosen by Riot Games as the next team to join the LCS, the organization announced today, following a report by Jacob Wolf. Evil Geniuses will be taking over Echo Fox's old slot in the LCS. The former LCS team was forced to sell its slot due to, all the, obviously, the racial bickering and the whole financial struggle of Echo Fox. You guys know, know the situation. Evil Genius is posted on Twitter. You saw that right. Evil Geniuses will be returning to North America, obviously, in the 2020 season. The organization actually made its league debut in 2013 in the e in the EU LCS, but after one year, the team moved over to the NALCS. There, the new North American Evil Genius roster struggled to find much success, placing 7th in both splits in 2014. After successfully winning the 2015 Spring Promotion, uh, Evil Geniuses rebranded to Winter Fox when they had pole belter on the team due to sale of sponsorship rule changes for the upcoming season. Evil Geniuses has been hinting at a big announcement on the team's Twitter with a link to a web page with a countdown. It's unknown whether Evil Geniuses management will bring up some of the Echo Fox's old players, although it's expected that the organization will attract some significant free agents this year's offseason. So, yes, Evil Geniuses are returning back to the North American LCS. All right, that's it, guys. I'll see you guys later. Uh, Pawn, thank you for all your services in League of Legends. Uh, Rick Fox is gone from Echo Fox. Support your team with that bundle. You know I got my Cloud9 and G2i icons flashing up. I'm going to get me one more. I'm going to get me the RNG one, obviously, because I like RNG from the LPL. But, you know, go support your team, guys. And Evil Genius is coming back to the LPL. Uh, <laughs> Evil Genius is coming back to the LCS. Uh, yes. Also, I know you guys' questions, and, and I, I know them. You guys want me to talk about the group stage. You guys want me to talk about worlds. Yes, we will be talking about worlds. I promise you. I got you guys. You know me. I got you. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Have a good day. I'm the Nightwing, and Way of Esports is signing out. Peace. Have a good day, guys. You guys, go play your Shaco Teemo mains and whatever you guys play. Subscribe to the channel for more stuff. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>